What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use multiple screens with the screen manager with Kivi and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at creating multiple screens for our Kivi app using the screen manager. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at creating multiple screens for Kivi. So a lot of times people want other windows to pop up, right? And Kivi doesn't do that very well. And you can do it. We can sort of hack around to make that happen. But in almost every circumstance, you're really going to want to instead use multiple screens. So you can see we're kind of sliding back and forth between two screens. We don't have separate windows popping up, right? It's sort of the same thing, but it's all contained in the same window, just multiple screens in that window. And that's sort of what Kivi does. Now, like I said, we can create other window pop ups, but it takes a lot of hacking and it's kind of complicated. Maybe we'll talk about that in another video. In this video, we're just going to create multiple screens. So I've got two files here, new underscore window dot pi and new underscore window dot KV. This is our basic Kivi starter code that we always have. I'm using the sublime text editor in the git bash terminal as always. So the first thing we need to do is import screen manager and screen. So we need to come up here and go from kivi.uix.screen manager. We want to import capital screen, capital manager. And we also want screen. And notice the capitalization on these, so the S in screen and the M in manager, and this S in screen, all capital. So, okay, come down here. Now we're going to need to tweak this file a little bit. And the first thing we need to do is sort of define each of the screens we want to use right here. So we're going to create classes here and let's say uh, define our different screens. So let's create a class and you could call these anything you want. Just sort of remember the names of them because we'll need to sort of reference them later on. And I'm going to call this first window and this inherits screen, which is just this guy up here, right? Screen. Okay, so colon, and then we just need to pass. We don't really need to do anything in here with these classes. We just need to define them and have them exist. So let's create the next one and we'll call this one second window. And this will also inherit screen. And again, we just want to pass. And now we need finally a third window for the actual window manager that will sort of keep track of everything. So let's go class and let's call this one window manager. And this imports screen manager. And notice the capitalization here. And also we still want to pass here. So screen manager, which is this guy right here that we imported, right? So the two windows sort of inherit from screen. This one inherits screen manager. So, okay. So now in all the other videos we've done, we've had this my layout widget. And then down here in our main app, we just returned my layout. Well, we're not doing that anymore. We're using these two windows. So we can just get rid of that. But then down here, what are we going to return? Well, I'm going to create a variable here. I'm just going to call this KV, short for Kivi, right? And set it equal to our new underscore window dot KV file, which is our Kivi file that we haven't worked on yet. So instead of returning my layout here, I'm just going to return KV which of course is this guy right here. So, okay, that's all we need to do here. So now let's head over to our Kivi file. And this is going to look a little different than some of the Kivi stuff we've done so far. So right at the top here, we have to sort of define the whole situation that we're creating here. We're creating a window manager and it's going to keep track of our two separate windows. So to do that, we just call window manager and we're calling it window manager because up here we called it window manager. If we called this Bob, right, right here, we would type Bob, but we called it window manager because that sort of makes sense. And now we just need to define our two windows, our two screens that we want to use. And the first one we called first window and the second one we called second window. Make sure I spell that right. And Notice the capitalization and those just obviously reference this guy and this guy. So if you called this main window instead of first window, you would type main window there. If you called it Bob's window instead of first window, you would type Bob's window there. So, okay, that's sort of all there is to that. Now we just need to build out these 
two windows. What do we want in those things? So let's go first under, or let's go first window. And we need to give each of these a name because we're gonna sort of be moving back and forth between them. In order to do that, we need to say, hey, move to first, or hey, move to second, or hey, move to Bob. Whatever we name these things, uh, we need to know that, and we need to define that right there. So, all right. And let me just kind of copy this and do it again. And let's call this one second window, obviously. And we wanna name this guy second. So now it's just a matter of building out whatever we wanna build out. So I'm gonna use a box layout like we usually do. I'm gonna set the orientation to vertical. Let's set the size to root.width and root.height as we always do. So it expands out to the size of the whole thing. And let me just copy this into this guy because we wanna do the same thing down here for our second window. So, okay, now what do we want in our first window? Well, let's just make this very, very simple so we understand the concepts here. I want a label that says first window and a button that we can click on to go to the second window. That's all we need. So let's create a label. And inside of here, let's give this a text of, let's say next screen, right there. And let's give this a font underscore size of like 32 to make it nice and big. We also want a button. And here we can say text, set that equal to, let's just say next screen. And actually for the text of this, let's just, let's call this first screen. So we know we're on the first screen, right? We'll have the button say next screen. And let's give this button some font underscore size of like 32 to make it nice and big. Now, we also need to give this an on underscore release. And we'll talk about this in just a second. So let me copy this stuff. And let's come down here inside of here and do the same thing. For this one, we don't want it to say first screen, we want it to say second screen. And we want the button to say go back. Okay, so on release, it doesn't do anything yet. But let's just save this real quick and run it just to make sure this is looking okay. So let's head over to our terminal and let's run python new underscore window dot pi. And when we do, we see our label, it says first screen, the button says next screen, we haven't programmed it to do anything yet, but okay, that looks pretty good. So, okay, now let's actually make the buttons do something. So on release, we can call app.root.current and set it equal to whatever we want. So let's go second. So this app is from our Python file down here, our main class is awesome app and it, you know, sort of inherits app. So we're calling app and we're calling root and we want to set the current window to second. What is the second? That's that name we gave it down here. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this and we can come back here and paste it in for the other screen. And now we want to move to first. So the first button will move us to the second screen. The second button will move us back to the first screen. So let's go ahead and save this and run it and see if that worked. So we've got first screen, we click this button, it sort of scrolls over to our second screen, we click this button again, it scrolls back again to the first screen, and you notice they're all going in the same direction. And that's a little weird, right? This is the first screen, okay, it makes sense to go that way for the second screen. When we click this button, it should go back the other way for the first screen, right? So we can fix that, super simple. We can just come over here to, let's see, our second window. And I'm gonna put this on a separate line and we could do that. So on release, we do this. We also wanna go root.manager.transition dot direction. And we can set that equal to any direction we want, right? So I want this to go right. Now I'm gonna copy this whole thing and let's come up to our first button and let's do the same thing. Put this on a second line underneath it. Instead of right, we want to go left. So we want the first button to move the whole thing to the left. We want the next button to move the whole thing to the right. So, okay, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and save this and run it. So first screen, boom, it goes that way. Boom, it goes back. So now we're sort of moving in the right direction and that makes more sense. 
We can play around with this if we want. Uh, let's see. For our first one, uh, let's move this one up. We want it to scroll up. So we save this and run it. Zoop, everything goes up. That <laughs> goes right. So we could do that. Uh, we could, you know, you would probably want to change the next one to down, right? So if one goes up, the other one goes down. That kind of makes sense. So we could go up and down, up. <laughs> down. So whatever you like, you can play around with that. But uh, just that easy. Now I'm going to go ahead and change this back and change this one. I like it going left and right. And let's run this one more time. Just to make sure this is still working. Boom, left, right, left, right. So that's really all there is to it. Uh, pretty cool, pretty easy. And just remember, you sort of define everything up here. We have two windows. You could have three windows, five windows, 100 windows. It doesn't really matter. You still define them up here in the same way. And then you just create them like you would normally and set your regular layouts however you want. The only other thing is up here we have to in we need to import the screen manager and screen and then just all of your different windows just to find them here. So first window, second window, third window, fifth window, 112th window, whatever you can come through here and find them all. You also need your window manager to keep track of everything. And that's really all there is to it. The only other difference we did is we sort of define KV our builder and we return KV and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codingme.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codingme.com and I'll see you in the next video.